Hello, my YouTube friend. Woo, we have three giant boxes of pops to go through today. This is going to be exciting. So I have three giant boxes here that were shipped to me from Shane. For the longest time, I've been kind of avoiding buying collections through the mail just because I'm worrying about damage and whatnot. But I'm going to set up a new system to kind of work out the pricing and whatnot for buying through the mail. So I want to talk a little bit about how much I am paying for collections. I believe some people think I pay the full pop price guide price for collections. And if I did that, I wouldn't be able to make videos and I wouldn't be able to stay in business. Because if a bunch of pops were $2,000 and I spend $2,000 on it, then I have to sell it all to get my money back. So I haven't gained anything. So it's not even worth my time. So currently collections I'm buying, I'm paying 50% of the pop price guide price for pops worth $15 or more. I'm paying 40% of the pop price guide price for pops worth 10 to $15 and 30% for pops that are under $10. The reason why I'm paying cheaper on the cheaper stuff is that that's the stuff that no one really wants or it's harder to sell. So I have to pay a little bit cheaper. And there's a lot of businesses I know that don't even buy that stuff or they pay like a dollar piece. I'll pay something, but it's just not going to be as much. So that's kind of the prices I'm paying right now. And I told Shane that and he said that is okay. I'm also giving him 10% of my offer price to help pay for shipping. I believe his collection is going to cost me about $1,000 and I gave him $100 for shipping. He actually, he shipped them to me. He let me know the shipping price. It was $106. So I actually reimbursed him for the shipping. And then I'm going to go through the collection. I'm going to price them out based on if anything's damaged, I might have to lower the prices down a little bit. I'm going to look everything up. And then I'm going to send them a friends and family PayPal payment afterwards. He accepted that. That makes my life easier because I don't have to worry about the damage if it gets damaged. I just have to pay a little bit less, which kind of sucks for everyone. But it is what it is. But it also allows me to buy more. So if you guys want to sell me collections and you're willing to ship it to me first so that I can evaluate the condition and all that and then make a payment, then I'm willing to buy your collection. Okay, so I'm kind of excited. I kind of forget what was in this collection. Honestly, when I buy collections, I kind of want it to be a little bit of a mystery just because it's more fun for me. I think he had some newer stuff that I really want for my collection. I think he has a lot of cool exclusives that will be good for my store. And I think we're going to have a lot of fun going through these pops together. Okay, let's start digging in. <laughs> Oh, these boxes are huge. Now the boxes look like they arrived okay. They a little bit of crushing, but no major dings or damage. So hopefully the pops are all okay. Whew. Okay, these boxes are huge. Okay, it looks like he used a lot of bubble wrap, which is good. I forget what's in here, honestly. Got a lot of padding. That's good. One of these days I'm gonna make up a video on how to ship larger collections and keep them kind of secure and keep them from getting damaged. Let's start. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, first we have the Minnie and Mickey Mouse double set. It's a Toys R Us exclusive. Uh, really cute double set. I do have that one. So that one will be for sale. Really like that set. That one looked like it was in pretty good shape. Oh, this one's in a protector. Uh, okay, we have Darla from Shazam. Uh, I think it's signed. Oh, they got them in the band box. So it's signed by the actress that played her. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. I like that. I And I don't think I have her actually. So this makes it a little bit more interesting than just the pop itself. That's cool. I'll be keeping that one. Okay, that's fun. I like fun stuff. Uh, okay, we have a uh, Pedro that's also signed. So that's cool. Like on the back, it has a little certificate. He must have got these in the BAM box. Okay, that is actually really neat. And I, I might have him, but if I do have him, I will sell the one I have already and keep the signed one because that's cool. I wonder if those were even his collection. He said he threw in a few little extra surprises, so that might be it. <laughs> okay, we have a FYE exclusive Carol Danvers from Captain Marvel. I don't remember if I actually got this one. This might be one of the last ones I need. So that's cool. I'm going to have to double check that one. So far, everything looks like it wasn't crushed or damaged, so that's great. Uh, we have Al Bundy. It's a Target exclusive one where he's in his football uniform. Really funny pop. I love that one. I do think I have that one, though. Okay, next we have the Negatron from Darkwing Duck. That is really cool. It's a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive from, what, 2017? I do have that one, so he'll be for sale. Okay, we have a Piccolo from the New York Comic-Con. I think I actually have him with the con sticker, but not the shared sticker. So I actually will probably keep that one. Very cool, though. Love that pop. Let's see what we got. We have a SSGS Goku. It's a Child's Collectibles exclusive. This is one of the cool ones where just his hair and his eyes are metallic. I like when they use metallic as highlights and not the whole pop. Really cool pop. I love that. One up top. Uh, okay. <laughs> we have the AT&T Night King. This one is damaged. I don't know if he got damaged in shipping. He might have just been damaged before. Not 100% sure on that one. He uh, he's, he's so common. <laughs> I get him in like every collection. 
So a pop like that, that's kind of cheap already with damage. I really don't lower the offer price down too much because I'm already paying pretty cheap on it because that, you know, the damage doesn't affect the price too much. Okay. Next we have the Walmart exclusive Dark Phoenix. I actually don't think I have this version of her. That is cool. I'm actually really happy with that. I love the Dark Phoenix. Very cool. The more that I need, the better. Next we have, oh, this is really cool. We have the 2019 ECC Comic-Con exclusive Findu Chomp, the blue version. I actually don't have this one. And this is limited to 3,000 pieces. Awesome. I think this is the last one I needed of him. I have the other two or three colors. Okay, very cool. That's what I'm looking for. I want to see a lot more of that kind of stuff. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, we have the Entertainment Exclusive Scrooge McDuck. I think I'm actually missing this one as well. Or I might have them. I can't remember. I might have them in the common and not the exclusive. I don't. Cool pop either way. I'm sure if I'm selling them, someone will pick them up right away. That was fun. Uh, oh, we have Destro. It's a 2017 New York Comic Con exclusive. I love this pop. Very awesome pop. I do have them already, but I'm sure someone will want that. That's the kind of stuff I like the $15 ish exclusive high in demand pops because they're just so easy to sell. Uh, okay, we have the Rory with Predator Mask. It's a Funko Shop exclusive. Now, this is the kind of pop I really don't want because <laughs> I probably have six or seven of them. He comes in every other collection and no one really wants them. I, and I can kind of understand. He's kind of a silly character. He's not really... A, if he was just a Predator, it'd be cool. But his character in the movie, eh. That's one I'm never really excited to get. Uh, oh, okay. We have the Raj Kusapali as Aquaman. It's a 2019 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. This one's really cool. The box is a little bit damaged, so I'm going to have to knock that down a little bit. But I'm sure someone will want him because he's an awesome pop. And I think these are starting to go up in value, actually. Okay, let's see what else. But again, if it's a pop that I don't need for my own collection, I don't really mind the damage as much. If it's something I want to keep, I'm just like, ah, I want a perfect one. Oh, this is cool. Okay, we have a Kamikaze exclusive U.S. agent. That is neat. I'm sure the Marvel fans will want that. I do have them already, but I'm sure I'll be able to sell them pretty quickly. Okay, awesome. People love their Marvel stuff. Okay, this box is huge. Uh, okay, we have a Black Canary from Arrow. I believe I have this one already. I'm sure someone will be happy to get her for me. Awesome. What we have here? We have, ooh, okay, we have the Jangly Man from Scary Stories. And uh, I think he's signed. This one doesn't have a certificate. Oh, no, there it is. It's another BAM box exclusive. Okay, that's cool. I actually like if they're signed when they come with the little certificate. That makes them more interesting. Not only is he kind of cool to me, but I don't own him. So I'm actually really excited to add this to my collection. Awesome. I love kind of the creepy, scary horror stuff. Oh, we have another double pack. Oh, okay, this is cool. It's a 2017 San Diego Comic-Con Flock Chippendale. Now, I know someone asked me, I forget their name, but they asked me for this one. And uh, so since I have another one, I'll be able to sort it real quick because I have one that I'm trying to find. I'm still a pop price guy being all messed up. I'm still having a hard time finding everything. I'm hoping they finish fixing the site in the next week or two because I it's really frustrating trying to find my duplicates without having the location of the duplicate. So um, that's cool. That will be for sale. Hopefully I'll have two for sale, but I have to figure out where I have one. Uh, okay, this one feels funny. This this, this one might be broken. Uh, okay, just the glue failed on that, but that's a real easy fix. If you use uh, archival glue on that, you can just fix that up. It's the 2018 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Black Bolt and Lockjaw from the Inhumans. Really cool set. I think I actually just got this a video two ago as well. So this one will be for sale. I'm still trying to find the duplicate. <laughs> cool pop though, I love it. Okay. Oh. oh, this is cool. We have the 2018 New York Comic Con Spider Woman. Now, this one got torn. I don't know if that was damaged in shipping, but really cool pop. I'm sure someone will want her. And I have her with both sticker variants, so I definitely need she's a duplicate. Okay, hopefully not too much stuff got damaged in here. A lot of pops. <laughs> okay. Oh, neat. We have the Metallic Army Man from Toy Story. It's a box launch exclusive. Love this pop. This is one of my all-time favorite pops. I do have him already, so he'll be for sale. But I'm sure someone will really want him because he is neat. What do we have in here? Okay, we have the SSGS Goku from Dragon Ball Super. This is the international exclusive version, not the US. I think the US one is maybe Hot Topic. I forget. I do have him already, but I don't know if I have the international sticker, so I might keep him as a variant. That one I'm going to have to double check. Wow, this box is full. 
A lot of pops. Uh, oh, okay, this is cool. It's a 2019 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I love this one because it's based on the comic art and not the TV series. I actually, this is one of my all-time favorite pops. I love her. I think she's awesome. Very cool. I do have her already, though. All right, box one is only like half done. There's a lot of stuff in these boxes. Uh, okay, next we, oh, this is cool. We have the Target exclusive Michael Jordan. I'm pretty sure I have this one. So this one will be for sale, but it's Michael Jordan. Someone's going to want him right away. This one will probably sell as soon as I post the video. Or it might sell even beforehand if I have them in the shop. Okay, we, let's see what we got. We got the GameStop exclusive Vers from Captain Marvel. This one I do have, so she'll be for sale. Okay. Oh, this is cool. It's the New York Comic Con exclusive Evil Groundskeeper Willie. I think I actually got him on the con, so I have the con sticker. But I might not have the shirt sticker, so I'll actually keep that as a sticker variant. Very cool. Love sticker variants. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, this is cool. We have Scott Howard, a 2019 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive from Team Wolf. He, uh, I mean, he's a cool pop. I love when they do 80s movies as pops. He's got a little dent on the back, so I'll have to knock the price down a little bit. But he is cool. I'm sure someone will want him. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, we have the Amazon exclusive Buzz Lightyear where he's floating. Love this one. This one's really cool. I do have this one already. So it looks like there's a lot of duplicates. So this collection is going to be really good to stock up my shop with stuff. Uh, okay, we have the CC Perrick. Per, am I saying that correct? From the New Girl. It's a 2018 New York Comic Con exclusive. I think I actually have the con sticker, but not the shared sticker. So I might keep her. I'm going to have to double check on that one. I don't think this one has much value. I think the value tank because no one really bought her. So I think she's a cute looking pop. So I like her. Okay, next we have... Okay, we have the Han Solo and Snow Gear from Star Wars. This one I have already, so he'll be for sale. Pretty common, though. I think they made a ton of these. So far, there's a couple that look like they might have got damage in shipping, but overall, they look really good. Uh, okay, next we have the 2016 New York Comic Con exclusive of Hawkgirl. I think this is an undervalued pop, because I really like her. I think she's a cool pop. And I love this year's sticker. It's one of my favorites. I think round stickers always look better than the square ones, and it's colorful. It's got a lot going for it. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, we have Penny as Wonder Woman 2019 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. This one I have as well. This one looks slightly crushed as well. I honestly, you probably had them this way because when I got mine from them, they, uh, I think it came from Walmart. They were all crushed as well. So you probably just, they had terrible shipping on these. So a lot of these are going to be damaged. Very cool pop though. I'm sure someone will want her. Okay, let's see what we got here. Go, we have Hans Gruber from Die Hard. It's a GameStop exclusive. This one I believe I have already, so he'll be for sale. I'll be saying that a lot in this video, I think. <laughs> we have here. Oh yeah, I love this one. So it's a 2019 ECC Comic Con Thor, where he's in the comic book version of him. I love the pops that are based on early comic book versions of characters. These are some of my favorites. I do have this one already though, so he'll be for sale, but this is an awesome pop. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, we have the green chrome Boba Fett from 2019 San Diego Comic-Con. Uh, I think I do have this one, so he'll be for sale. But Boba Fett's really hot right now. So I think this one has some value, but I'm going to have to double check that. Very cool. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is cool. We have the Kang and Kodos from the Simpsons Treehouse of Horrors. Very awesome pop. I do have this one already. But this one I think will sell real quick. People love this set. This is one of my favorite sets from last year. Awesome. It's stuff like that that I want to see more of in a box like this. Okay, we have the 2019 San Diego Comic-Con Astronaut Snoopy. Love this pop. I do have this one already. Absolutely love this pop. So he'll be for sale. Love it. All right. Let's see what we got. We got the Forrest Gump from the 2019 San Diego Comic-Con. I actually don't remember if I got this one. I know I have one or two of the Forrest Gump pops. And I need the other one or two. So this one I'm going to have to double check. Okay, he is very cool. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, we have Dr. Alan Grant from Jurassic Park. I actually don't have this one. So I'm really happy to get this. I love Jurassic Park, one of my all-time favorite movies. So that one's going into the collection. Awesome. Okay, next we have... Ooh, the Lorraine Chase from Atomic Blonde. I think I have her, but my box is damaged. So this is a box upgrade. Very cool. So I'll have a damaged one for sale. Or at least I think it's damaged. Maybe it's not. Okay. Next we have Joe Montana. Very cool. Getting the classic, like I don't really collect the sports stuff, so this one will be for sale. But the classic sports players always sell well for me, so I'm sure this one will sell quick. Okay, next we have the, ooh, 2019 New York Comic Con Vegeta. I don't think I got this one. I don't recognize him, so I actually might need this one. 
I'm guessing this one has a little bit of value too, because this one I think sold out at the con really fast. Okay, awesome. Very cool. Uh, anything left? I think we're... Oh no, one more. One more. And what do we have in here? Oh, this is neat. It's the FYE exclusive Piccolo from Dragon Ball Z. He's metallic. Awesome pop. I don't have that one. So that one's going to my collection. Okay, very cool. Okay, box one is done. That was a ton of hops. A ton of hops. Okay, let's dig into box number two. Okay, box number two, more bubble wrap. Everything looks to be pretty okay. Maybe one got smushed a little bit, but I think so far we're pretty good. Box one, only a handful looked a little beat up, but I think they were probably beat up to begin with and weren't damaged in shipping. That's my biggest concern when I buy a big collection like this, that they get damaged in shipping. So if it arrives all okay, I'm actually thrilled. Okay, we have Daryl Dixon, FYE exclusive. That one I think I have already, so he'll be for sale. We have a Betty Boop that looks like she got a little bit crushed. So this one I think might have been damaged in the mail. So it's Betty Boop and Pudgy. It's a Funko Shop exclusive. Love this pop. I do have this one already though, so she'll be for sale. And I'll just have to sell it cheaper. Some people enjoy buying the cheaper kind of damaged boxes because they like to have their pops out of the box. So this is perfect for them. Let's see what we got. We got a FYE exclusive Poe Dameron. This one's kind of rare. I don't see this one as often. Do have this one already though. Okay, next we have we have a Amazon exclusive War Machine from the Avengers Endgame. I think uh, I don't know if I have this one. It got a little bit crushed, but that's okay. I think this one I'm keeping. All those Endgame ones blend together because there's so many different pops. Uh, okay, we have an Elroy Jetson from the Jetsons. This one the box got damaged, so it looks like a couple over here got kind of crushed a little bit. Uh, it's a shame, but I'll just, you know, adjust the price a little bit and we'll be okay. I'm sure I'll find someone who will want him. He's cool. I do have him already. Okay, I'm hoping more of the box is not too bad. Oh, this one looks... No, I guess this one's alright. Just a little bit of a squish, but... It's a Flock Chewbacca from Box Lunch. That one is cool. I'm sure someone will want to pick him up. I love Flock Chewbacca. Awesome. Okay. Next, we have Quasimodo from the Hunchback of Notre Dame. is the 2019 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. This one, I believe I have already. He did get crushed. So it looks like that row of the box got cr crumpled a little bit and it crushed the whole row a teeny bit. So yeah, this is the kind of thing that I always get afraid of. It's not too bad. And I think a lot of these are kind of cheaper, so it's not going to ding them on the value too much. But still, I don't like seeing pops get damaged. It just makes it harder to sell them. If I want to keep them, it's like I want to get a better one, etc. Ooh, okay, we have the Halloween Stitch. Love this pop. This one I definitely have, and he's in great shape. So that one, I'm sure someone's going to want him. This one is cool. Love that pop. Okay, next we have the Superman 3-pack, where they're in chrome. I'm pretty sure I have that one already. Uh, I mean, they're kind of cool, but this is the year that not only were they doing one of each character's chrome, but they're doing, like, these 3-packs. It's just a little overkill. Do like it, though. I'm sure someone wants the set. Let's go back to the one row that was a little bit dinged up. See what we got here. Ooh, the box popped open, but I think it's okay. Maybe a slight ding, but not too bad. We have Professor Squirrel from Harry Potter. It's a 2018 New York Comic Con. I love this one because you can take his turban off and switch his head, basically. Very cool pop. I do have this one already, though, so he'll be for sale. Okay, next we have... Ooh, we have the Christmas Thanos. No, this isn't the Christmas Thanos. This is the Marvel Collector Core Thanos. I don't have this one, I don't think. That is cool and it's based on his comic appearance. I love Pops based on comics. I love this comic book. This is one of my all time favorite comics. I have three copies of it. Very cool. This one I, I think I'm keeping. Awesome. Really happy with that. Let's see what we got here. Okay, we Drew Brees from the Saints. Again, I don't collect the football stuff, so he'll be for sale, but he'll probably sell relatively quickly. The football stuff always sells for me, or any of the sports stuff, really. Uh, okay, we have Plastic Man from the Legion of Collectors box. This is a really cool pop. I'm sure someone will want to pick him up right away. Awesome. Okay, this is very cool. It's the Flocked Fox from 2019 San Diego Comic-Con from Harry Potter. This one, uh, I'm pretty sure I have already, so he'll be for sale. But he's a neat pop. I'm sure someone's going to want him. I like getting kind of the cooler, more interesting, and a little bit more valuable pops, just because they're very easy to sell. Uh, okay, we have the FYE exclusive Jack Harkness with Vortex Manipulator from Doctor Who. I, I don't remember if I had this one. I can't remember. I might actually need this one. And I think this one has a little bit more value because he's an older one. Okay, very cool. That's what I want to see. <laughs> Not too much older stuff in this collection so far. Uh, okay, we have the Iron Spider from Box Launch. This one I do have, so he'll be for sale. Okay, we have a Matt Ryan from the Falcons. 
So I again, I don't really collect the football stuff, so he'll be for sale. Okay, next we have, oh, this is super cool. So we have an Albert Einstein. I actually really wanted this pop. I didn't have him yet. This is actually probably one of my highest wants of just like newer, cheaper stuff. Really happy to get that. That is cool. Awesome. Okay, next we, oh, this is cool. We have the bait exclusive Golden Bruce Lee. Ah, I think I have this one, but I'm gonna have to double check because there's all, all kinds of different variants of him. And I can't remember if I have this pose in gold. His box is a little bit damaged, so I'll have to knock the value down a little bit, but he is cool. Um, if I have him, I'm sure someone will want him. Let's see what we got. We have a Walgreens exclusive Moon Knight. Very cool pop, we do have that one already. Okay, we have, oh, okay. So it's a flocked exclusive Whooper from Kohl's, but he looks extra purple. And I feel like I have another flocked version. Is there two flocked versions of him? That I'm gonna have to research. This is really weird to me because I don't remember him such a rich color like that. And I think there was a Funko Shop flocked version of him. Okay, that's cool. I'm probably keeping that one. Okay. Oh, this is cool. We have the Fugitive Toys exclusive John Diggle. I'm sure someone will want him. He's kind of an older, 2016, yeah, a little bit older DC pop. Very cool. I do have him right, so he'll be for sale. That's what I want to see, more of that older stuff. We have Hank Pym Unmasked. It's a Hot Topic exclusive. I actually, I don't remember if I have this one or not. That one got the double check. Okay, next we have a Nick Fury with Goose. It's a Marvel Collector Core exclusive. That one I do have, so I hope you for sale. Very cool pop though, I like that. I like pops when they're like holding someone. I always enjoy those. Ooh, okay, we have the Barnes & Noble exclusive Galadriel from Lord of the Rings. I have already, but I'm my keeper because I really love this pop. And the one I have is in a collector box. So it might be nice to have another one that I can have out of the box. So she is cool, really love that pop. Oh, uh, these boxes are full. Uh, oh, he popped out of his box, but I think he's okay. Okay, that's not too bad. So it's a Black Panther Chase. I need to clean the box a little bit, but other than that, he's not too bad. Very cool, I have him already. I'm sure someone will want him. Okay. Ooh, this is cool. We have the Vampire Mr. Burns 2019 New York Comic Con exclusive. Uh, I think I have both versions of the sticker, but I'm gonna have to double check that one. Very cool pop. Love the Treehouse of Horror stuff. Uh, okay, we have an FY exclusive Iron Man. This one, I think he's okay. This one is broken pretty often. So this one I might take out of the box just to double check. Very cool pop, love that pop. Light pops and dynamic poses. I just kind of wish they had a better system to hold them. That wouldn't break as easy. Uh, okay, we have the Walmart exclusive Ronin. I actually don't remember if I got this one. Very cool pop. That one I'm gonna have to double check. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, okay, this is cool. 2019 Galactic Convention exclusive Yoda. I don't remember if I got this one. I have zero of the blue ones. I just, when they came out, they were all limited and people were paying like $100 plus each. So I didn't really go on my way to get those because I didn't want to pay $100, but this is cool. I do like this one. And this is a proper yellow, okay? All those weird yellows that they did for uh, the Infinity Stones, those look like piss. This one is like a rich gold. This one I like, very cool. I don't remember. I might need that one. I, d I might have it. I'm going to have to double check that one. Uh, okay, we have a 2018 Summer Convention exclusive, The Flash. This is the one where he's fading a little bit. Very cool pop. I do think I have that one already. Okay, let's see what we got. We have a Marvel Collector Core exclusive, Captain Marvel. It's Glows in the Dark. I'm pretty sure I have her already, so she'll be for sale. Very cool pop, though. A lot of Marvel stuff, which is good. Marvel always sells well for me. Even the kind of not as popular characters. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, we have the Flashpoint Superman. This one I definitely have, so he'll be for sale. Very cool pop, though. Love that one. So I, uh, I forget how many pops this is, but this is a pretty good size collection. We have a Hot Top exclusive Princess Jasmine from Aladdin. She's really pretty. I like this one. I don't remember if I have this one. Very cool. Awesome. I'm keeping that one, I think. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, we have a 2017 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Selfie Gwenpool. This one people aren't really excited for, her, or she doesn't sell so well. Cool pop though, I do like her, but I have her already. Some pops like this, I end up having the, just, I get stuck with them for a while, but eventually something will happen. She'll show up in a show or a cartoon or something, and then people will want her again. Uh, okay, we have a Quantum Suit Rocket Raccoon Walmart exclusive from Avengers Endgame. Very cool pop, I think I have that one already, so that'll be for sale. Some duplicates, lots of duplicates. Uh, okay, from Bright, we have Nick Jacoby. 
Really cool looking pop. I like the way he looks. I don't remember if I have this one. I think I might have them. I know I only have one or two from Bright though, and I need the others. So this one, I, I'm this I'll double check. I might be keeping it. Okay, we have a 2018 New York Comic Con exclusive Korg with Meek. Really cool pop. I do have that one already. I have a lot of these, a lot of duplicates, which is kind of good right now. I'm kind of looking for more stuff to fill my shop up. So I'm, actually, I do want duplicates. Okay, we have a FY exclusive Glows in the Dark Captain America. I think this is the one that came with a t-shirt. This one, I'm pretty sure I have already. Cool though. I'm happy to get kind of more exclusive rare things. Okay, we have a Walgreens exclusive Hawkeye. Pretty sure I have that one as well. Okay, we have a Russell Wilson from the Seattle Seahawks. So again, this one will be for sale because I don't really collect the football stuff. We have, oh, this one's awesome. So we have the Killer Clowns from Outer Space Slim. I don't remember if I have this sticker variant. I know I have the actual con sticker, but not the shared sticker. So he will be for sale if I have him already, but this one I'm going to have to double check. Love Killer Clowns. It's such a goofy, kind of awesome, campy movie. Uh, okay, we have Agent J from Men in Black. It's a Funko Shop exclusive. This one I have already, so he'll be for sale. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, we have Joker from Persona 5. This one got crushed. He was on the corner. It seems like the pops on the corners are the ones that got damaged. This is what I'm afraid of. This is why I got to kind of create a guide on how to package things like this. Because if a box has things on the corner, it's going to damage it. Which is a little bit of a shame because I actually want this one. I don't have him. I might be able to iron him out a little bit. But that's okay. I don't think it's going to affect the offer price too much. Just because he's a little bit cheaper. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, this is cool. I don't have this one. So it's a FYE exclusive Weird Al Yankovic. That is really awesome. I actually really like that one. Okay, cool. Going in the collection. Sweet. Love when I get stuff I need. Uh, okay, we have a Leonard Hofstetter from the Big Bang Theory. It's a 2019 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. This one is awesome. I Now, I don't remember if I got a better one. No, I think I did get a better one. So this one's a duplicate and he'll be for sale. I don't think he's a box upgrade. I see what else happened in the corner. This one also in the corner of the box got dinged up. So this is a Janet Van Dyne Unmasked Target exclusive. Uh, if you're going to ship a big collection, it's probably good to put the cheapest, not as expensive pops on the corners. Because they're the ones that are more likely to get damaged. Uh, okay, we have an Elf Chase or Buddy the Elf. Okay, he's cool. He's in good shape. Love this one. I have that one already, so I hope you for sale. But I'm sure someone will want them. Okay, we'll see. Okay, we have Momo. I'm not going to say her last name. I forget. But for My Hero Academia, I don't have this one. Actually, super excited to pick her up. That is cool. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. And she's in good shape. So it's a double awesome. Uh, okay, we have a Padme from Star Wars. It's a 2018 ECC Comic Con exclusive. This one I'm pretty sure I have already. So she'll be for sale. Very cool pop though. I like that one. Uh, okay, we have the Rowan's Ghost FYE exclusive. He was on the corner of the box too, so he got damaged, which is a shame. But it happens. But I think I have him already, so he'll be for sale. Okay, we have a Charmander from Pokemon. I don't remember if I got Charmander. I actually might need him, so that one is going into my collection. Uh, we have... It's a Funko Insider Club Gohan from Dragon Ball Z. This one I don't think I have. And this was a corner one too, and he got kind of damaged. Ah, that's a shame. I'm always worried about pops getting damaged like that when I buy a collection to the mail. So that's why I kind of like doing a, I don't pay for the collection until I have it kind of thing. Just because I know some stuff will be damaged, I'm going to have to adjust the offer a little bit. Uh, okay, we have a Skipper 2015 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive from Penguins. Love this one. Awesome pop. Do have this one already though, so he'll be for sale and he's in pretty good shape. It's got a couple little bits of ding, but love it. Very cool pop. Okay, next we have a Sheldon Cooper as the Flash from The Big Bang Theory. It's a 2019 San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Love this one. Some of the this box is pretty good. It's it's got a couple little things, but some of these might be a box upgrade for me. I don't remember if I have a full set of good boxes. I remember that year. That was the one where those kept on arriving, damaged. Okay, we have Violet from The Incredibles 2. This one I do have. She'll be for sale. Okay, next we have a Rita Skeeter. She was also on the corner, which is a shame because she got all beat up. But I do have this one already, so that's okay. Absolutely love this pop, though. The way she looks, just the details, like the way her clothing has kind of like a shimmer to it. Her skin tone is kind of more of a matte. Just the way they did this pop or like the way her glasses are kind of like wooden looking. Love it. Really cool pop. I'm sure someone, if I put her out pretty cheap, like seven bucks, I'm sure someone will buy her. Very cool. 
Okay, next we have a J.J. Abrams. I don't think I have him, so that one's going into my collection. Very cool. Next we have... Oh, this is a cool 2019 Galactic Convention exclusive Darth Vader. I, uh... I know I had one of them. I don't remember if it was Yoda or Darth Vader or one other character. So I might actually need that. Very cool if I do need it. Okay, next we have Pikachu. Awesome. I think this is the second release of Pikachu. That I'm going to have to double check because I know I had the first release, but I might need this one. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, this is cool. It's the first appearance version of Black Panther. It's a Target exclusive. Absolutely love this one. Anything based on the comic books is my favorite. Very cool. He has a little bit of damage on him, but I'm sure someone will want that one. Okay, and then finally, we have a Spider-Man Noir. This was on the corner too, so his box got a little bit dinged up, but he is cool. I love this pop. Walgreens exclusive Spider-Man Noir from Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Very cool. I do have him already though, so he'll be for sale. Okay, so that's everything in box two. That box didn't fare as well. A lot more of the pops were damaged, but I don't think anything major or valuable was damaged, so that's actually not too bad. I'm happy with that box. Okay, very cool. Let's get into box number three. Okay, I think box number three looks like it arrived a little bit better. I don't see as much crushing on the corners, so I think we're going to be okay with this one. Ooh, it's packed. Packed. Ooh, there's some cool stuff, though. Okay, let's start with a nice one. We have the Baseball Fury. It's a Toy Tokyo exclusive from the 2019 New York Comic Con. This one I have already. Love this pop, but I'm sure he'll sell real quick. The last one I had was claimed as soon as I made the video. Okay, we have Lewis Winthorpe the third from Trading Places. Love this pop. Do have this one already though, so I'll hope you sell. Okay, let's see what we've got. Oh, nice. We have a Howard Wallowitz. Uh, not too bad. It may be very light wear, but he's in good shape. Vaulted pop with value. Nice. I forgot there were some nicer older ones. This is the kind of stuff that you would want to put in a pop protector or a sword or something when you're sending a big collection like this. Because these are the things that have the most value and are more likely to lose a lot of value if they get damaged. Uh, okay, we have Winona Earp. She is really cute. Okay, so this one I don't think I have. So this one's going into my collection. Awesome. Okay, next we have... Oh, okay, we have the Chewbacca from the 2019 Galactic Convention. Okay, so... I definitely only had one from this convention. I forget which one it was. So this is a cool one. I'm going to have a few for my collection. I'm actually really happy with that. We have a Target exclusive Black Manta from Aquaman. Very cool. Do have that one already. Okay, next we have... Ooh, we have Mr. Wiz... I can't say his name, but very cool. 2019 ECC Comic Con exclusive. Uh, this one I think I do have. So he'll be for sale. Okay, this one's on the corner. And it arrived in good shape. So we have the medical droid. Very cool pop. Love that pop. Uh, okay, we have a uh, Joyce with Biohazard suit. This one I do have. Very cool pop again. Love that pop. Uh, oh, okay, this is cool. We have a GameStop exclusive Harley Quinn. Very neat. I do have that one, so she'll be for sale, but I do love that pop. Okay, next we have the FYE exclusive All Natural Minion for Minions. He goes in the dark. Very cool. I think I have that one already. Okay, we have a, oh, Battle Angel Alita, the Berserker body version. She is cool. I do have this one. I really hope they do a sequel to that movie because I really enjoyed it. Uh, okay, this one's on the corner. Okay, we have a Killer Moth. Uh, he got a little bit dinged up, but it's not terrible. So I think I have that one, so he'll be for sale. Okay, next we have a Hank from Finding Dory. Pretty sure I had that one as well, so he'll be for sale. We have a Mira. It's a GameStop exclusive. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have this one. I feel like this one could have been really awesome and pretty, but the paint job is just, it's not the best pop. The, the quality is not that good. But still, I'm sure someone will want her. Uh, okay, next we have, we have a Medusa Hot Topic exclusive. Pretty sure I have her, but I do like Medusa. She's a cool character. Have her, okay, let's see, this one's in the corner. We have a Hot Topic exclusive Dark Phoenix. Absolutely love this one with a Phoenix behind her. Uh, her box is a little bit damaged. I guess being in the corner did get a little bit beat up. Very cool pop, though. I love that one. Okay, next we have a Hot Topic exclusive Shazam. Glows in the dark. This one also got kind of dinged up. So these corner pops, the corners are where the damage is coming. So that's just something good to know is maybe even leaving a little space in the corners just so they can absorb some of the damage. Okay, yeah, Fun Bun from Wreck-It Ralph. Very cool. I don't remember if I actually got this pop. I might need that one. Okay, next we have uh, Max with Antlers, the FYE exclusive from The Grinch. I actually don't have this one. Very cool. Really happy you get that. Awesome. Okay, next we have... Oh, this is one I needed, and it was in the corner, so it did get damaged. That's a shame. 
We have Agent Venom pop in the box exclusive. I need this one, so I'll be keeping that one. Uh, he is awesome. Just a little shame that the box is damaged, but you know what? I'll live with it for now. He'll be the one I have until I get a better one. Okay, we have the Snowman Captain America. Love that pop. Do have that one already, though? Or I think I had that one. That I actually have to double check. Uh, okay, next we have Vanna White. She's cool. I like her metallic dress. That's a neat pop. This one I don't think I have, so that one I'll actually keep. Okay, another one in the corner here. We have a DC Bombshells Hawk Girl. This one definitely got all crunched up in the corner. So the corners in these boxes are not the place that put your good pops. Okay, I do have that one already though, so she'll be for sale. Uh, okay, we have the Edna Jack Jack. It's a 2018 San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Very cool. Have that one already. So Jack Jack will be for sale. Uh, we have the patinaed version of Arthur Curry. It's a Walmart exclusive. Very cool. I think I have this one already though, so that'll be for sale. Do love that one though. I think uh, just the way he looks is really cool. Uh, okay, we have the Sweeper Bot from Destiny. It's a 2018 San Diego Comic Con exclusive. That one I do have, so it'll be for sale. Okay, what do we have here? Ooh, we have another Agent Venom, and this one is in good shape. Okay, sweet. <laughs> I was getting a little disappointed on this one. So I'll have one that's a little bit beat up. I'll have to sell it for a few bucks under PPG. So ha happy, happy to get that one. Okay, awesome. Okay, we ha oh, this is cool. We have a Freddie Mercury Diamond Series from FIE. This one I do have, so he'll be for sale. But I love the music stuff, and it always sells. People love the music stuff. Okay, this one's in the corner. Uh, looks like it's okay. We have the Praetorian Guard from Star Wars. That one I do have. He'll be for sale. Then we have a we have a Captain America Walmart exclusive from Avengers Infinity War. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have that one, so he'll be for sale. Cool, though. Love Captain America. Uh, okay, we have DJ from Star Wars. It's a GameStop exclusive. That one, I think I have already. You have to double check though. Maybe, uh, you know, I don't really remember the character that well, so he kind of blends in. <laughs> we have Tobias Beckett from the Han Solo movie. It's a Walmart exclusive. Uh, I think I have that one already, so he'll be for sale. Uh, okay, we have the Toy Tokyo exclusive Witchy Poo. Love this pop. It was in the corner, but it arrived okay. So that corner seems to be one that didn't get crushed. Very cool pop. Last time I listed her, she just went like that within an hour. Uh, okay, we have a Aquaman 2017 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive from Justice League. Do have that one already, though, so he'll be for sale. And then we have a Spider-Girl. It's a Walgreens exclusive. This one I'm pretty sure I have as well. She's cool, though. I'm sure someone will want her. Uh, okay, we have the 2019 Galactic Convention exclusive Princess Leia. I'm actually really happy to get these. I only had one, so it looks like I'm getting most of the set. Awesome. Okay. Next, we have the Target exclusive Elastigirl from Incredibles 2. Very cool pop. I do have her already. Okay, we have the Dryden Voss from Star Wars. It's an FYE exclusive. Uh, I think I have him, so he'll be for sale. See what we got. Okay, we have the Son Goku. It's a Funko Insider Club exclusive from Dragon Ball. So this one I'm pretty sure I have as well. I have a lot of the Dragon Ball stuff. I'm just missing some of the newer ones. And one or two of the really expensive ones. Okay, we have another Elroy Jetson. This one's in good shape. So I'm actually really happy. I think I have them already. But uh, if I don't, I'm just glad one has a good box. If not, I'll have two for sale. Okay, next we have a Gabby Gabby with Forky. It's a Walmart exclusive. Pretty sure I have her already. So she'll be for sale. Wow, there's a ton of pops in this collection. Just, this is a bulk. This is a bulk collection. <laughs> uh, okay, we have Nearly Headless Ned. It's a 2018 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. This one, the box got a little bit crushed, but that's okay. He's cool. People love the Harry Potter, so he'll sell pretty well. Okay, next we have a Carmen San Diego Diamond Edition. Very awesome pop. It's a 2019 ECC Comic-Con exclusive. I do have this one already, so that'll be for sale. Very awesome use of glitter, though. I love this one. Okay, next we have a, another Flashpoint Superman. I absolutely love this pop, so that one will be for sale, though, because I have him already. Uh, oh, this is cool. We have the Red Chrome Super Saiyan Vegeta. This one, I think, is undervalued right now. Love this pop. Have him already, though, so he'll be for sale. Okay, next we have the regular... No, it's not the regular. It's the GameStop exclusive Carmen San Diego, where she's half translucent. Awesome. I actually do not have this one. That was a very cool pop. Okay, next we have with the Marcus Phoenix from Gears of War. Love this pop. I love this whole wave of pops. I think they just look so amazing. This is one of the best sets that they put together just from the visuals and the quality of the paint job. Very awesome. Love that pop. Do you have it already? Okay, 
Let's see what we got. Okay, we have Loki from the Marvel Collector Core. I think this one went with uh, the Thanos. So this is very cool with his first appearance on the back. Absolutely love this pop. I don't have this one yet. So this one's going to the collection. Awesome. I love that stuff. Okay. Next we have uh, Huckleberry Hound. I'm uh, pretty sure I have this one. This one's older. I don't know if he's vaulted or not, but he is older. This one has some stickers on it, so he'll be a little bit cheaper. Okay, next we have the T-51 Power Armor from Fallout. Very cool. I love all these Fallout Power Armor pops they've made. I think they're all so cool. I'm pretty sure I have that one, right? I think I'm only missing the Nuka-Cola one, which is kind of more expensive. Uh, okay, this is a very undervalued pop. So we have the Loot Crate Exclusive Widowmaker, where she's in white. Absolutely love this pop, but the value is cheap because I think they overmade that one. Okay, next. Oh, this is cool. We have the Walgreens Exclusive Spirit Spider. I think Will wanted this one. I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to ask him on that one. All right, very cool. And, oh, okay, we have another Agent Venom. Okay, this is cool. I'm actually happy to have one in nicer shape, you know, to sell. I have one for myself and two to sell. One I'm going to have to sell a little bit cheaper and then one I can get regular price. I'm sure someone's going to really want those. Okay, next. Oh, cool. We have the common Michael Jordan. I think I have this one, but he'll sell real fast. People love Michael Jordan. I mean, I love Michael Jordan. He's awesome. Uh, okay, so we have Deadpool holding chicken. He's very cool. I do have that one already. All right, we're almost done. Almost done in here. Uh, okay, we have Captain Marvel Target exclusive. This one is really cool. She glows in the dark. Do have that one already. Uh, oh, okay. We have the Disneyland exclusive or Disney Parks exclusive, The Collector from Guardians of the Galaxy. Absolutely love this pop. I do have that one already though, so I hope you for sale. Love The Collector. Uh, okay, what do we have here? Oh, this is cool. We have General Ram. It's a 2019 ECC Comic Con exclusive. Uh, the corner got a little dinged up, but he is cool. Again, these Gears of War pops just look so cool. The paint jobs on them are amazing. Awesome pop. Love it. Okay, next we have the Yellow Power Ranger. It's a GameStop exclusive. That one I don't know if I have. I think I do, but I might be missing one or two of that wave or that series where all translucent. Uh, ooh, this is cool. This box popped open, but I don't think the box got damaged. Okay, so we have a Marvel Collector Core exclusive Mr. Fantastic. I don't have that one yet. Oh, I love the Fantastic Four. Okay, really happy with that. I want to put this whole set together. So the more I can get, the better. I think I'm at the point where I got more than half of them now. Awesome. Okay, next we have the Pumpkin Reaper from Power Rangers. It's a GameStop exclusive. Absolutely cool looking pop. I love pumpkin themed things. So he is cool. That one I think I'm keeping. I don't remember getting that one. And we have one more. Uh, okay, this is cool. We have the Speed Racer Chase. He was in the corner of the box, but the box is actually in good shape. Okay, really happy to get that. I don't have that one. Going into the collection. Thank you for selling me the collection, Shane. I had a lot of fun with it. Thank you, everyone, for watching the video. I'm going to put a couple other mega epic Funko Pop hauls right there. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!